Magandang araw muli sa inyong lahat. Welcome sa ating channel, Sir Lopez Vlog. Sa araw na ito ay isa na namang self-evaluation ang ating gagawin dito sa subject na Forensic Ballistics. Okay, so dalawang potlimang katanungan. Once again, ang inanda natin para sukatin ang inyong academic preparations pagdating sa subject na ito. At ang mga kasagutan, makikita lamang later on dito sa ating description box. Kung nakanda na tayo, start na natin sa question number 1. The scientific examination of physical evidence for a court of law. A. Forensic science. B. Firearms identification. C. Individual characteristics or letter D. Class characteristics. Question number 2. Place a firing mechanism like hammer or firing pin under spring tension prior to firing. A. Discharge. B. Chop. C. Cut. Or letter D. Ignition. Number 3. A separate cartridge container used to rapidly reload the magazine of a firearm. A. Clip. B. Cylinder C. Reload or letter D. Shot shell Number 4 The area around the firing pin which is against the head of the cartridge or shot shell during firing A. Cylinder B. Bridge C. Bridge face or letter D. Cannula Number 5. An interior constriction of a shotgun bore at the muzzle for the purpose of controlling the pattern of the fired shot. A. Rippling. B. Chop. C. Land or letter D. Groves. Number 6. An interior constriction of a shotgun bore at the muzzle for the purpose of controlling the pattern of the fired shot. A. Rippling. B. Chop. C. Land or letter D. Groves. Number 7. A discipline of forensic science which has its primary concern to determine if a bullet, cartridge case, or other ammunition component was fired in a particular firearm to the explosion of all others. A. Grease test. B. Polygraph. C. Individual characteristics or letter D. Firearms identification. Number 8. The cartridge contains the primer in the center of the case head or base where it can be struck by the firing pin of the action. A. Center fire. B. Firing pin. B. Firing pin impression. C. Projectile or letter D. Rim fire. Number 9. Measurable features of a specimen which indicated a restricted group source. They result from design features and are therefore determined prior to manufacture. A. Comparison microscope. B. Firearms identification. C. Class characteristics or letter D. Forensic science. Number 10. The identification mark case caused when struck by the firing pin. A. Impressed toll mark. B. Straighted toll mark. C. Pyrodex or letter D. Firing pin impression. 11. The diameter of the bore measured from A. Base to nose. B. Land to groove. C. Group to group or letter D. Land to land. Number 12. The discolored area on the immediate periphery of a bullet hole 
caused by bore debris or jacket material. A. Bullet wipe. B. Bullet mark. C. Bullet striation or letter D. Bullet sign. Number 13. The raised portions between the grooves inside the barrel after the spiral grooves are cut to produce the rippling. A. Grooves. B. Lance. C. Rippling or letter D. Deep. Number 14. The spiral grooves cut or swing inside a gun barrel that gives the bullet a spinning motion. A. Grooves. B. Land. C. Bore or letter D. Rippling. 15. An explosive substance that ignites when struck to detonate the powder in a cartridge a powder b nitrate c primer or letter d grains 16 a mechanism or device on an action to prevent firing of the gun and may be manually operated or is a design feature intended to automatically prevent in advertent firings a receiver b safety c magazine or letter d hammer block 17 a shoulder fired long gun with smooth bore designed to fire shot shells containing numerous pellets or sometimes a single projectile a rifle B. Shotgun C. Machine gun or letter D. Handgun 18. That portion of a cartridge case which contains the primer usually called the head A. Base B. Tip C. Nose or letter D. Cannular 19. The basic unit of a firearm which houses the firing and breech mechanism in which the barrel and stock are assembled. A. Bolt. B. Breech. C. Action. Or letter D. Receiver. 20. A unit of ammunition made up of a cartridge case, primer, powder, and bullet. A. Slug. B. Shot shell. C. Cylinder. Or letter D. Cartridge. 21. Handgun that has a cylinder with holes to contain the cartridges. A. Revolver. B. Pistol. C. Deringer or letter D. Shotgun. 22. The rearward movement of a firearm resulting from firing. A. Kick. B. Shake. C. Recoil or letter D. Reload. 23. The part of the gun barrel that was the basis for its name, revolver. A. Barrel. B. Chamber. C. Cylinder. Or letter D. Trigger. 24. Unlicensed firearm no longer simply means a firearm without a license but duly issued by local authority. It also means A. A firearm purchased illegally. B. A firearm used in crime. Letter C. Firearm with expired license or letter D. No permit to carry firearm outside residence. Next is 25. What was the recent comprehensive law on firearms and 
explosive. A. Act number 27-11. Letter B. RA-482. Letter C. RA-8294. Or letter D. RA-10591. Okay, so hanggang dito na lang ang ating self-evaluation sa araw na ito. Maraming salamat. See you again next meeting.